Happy New Year. Happy 2015. This is Rachel from rwcrafts.com. Today I'm sharing a watercolor mosaic print that I created using Unity stamps and gelatos and watercolors. I started out by cutting one inch by one inch squares of watercolor paper. I put them in a three by three square and then I taped washi tape all over the back to keep them in place. And I'm going to build with them all in place and not take take it apart until I'm completely finished and everything's completely dry. So to start, I'm using this itty bitty Unity stamp. It's called One Day at a Time. It's a really cool clock, for, clock face print. I use it a lot. I have used it a lot. As you can see, it's, it's quite messy. So what I'm doing here is I'm adding some gelatos. These are double scoop gelatos in mango color and metallic melon color. So I'm making sure to get a good coating of the gelato on the entire stamp. Now I will give it a good spray to activate that gelato pigment and then press it down onto my watercolor paper. And when I lift it up, I have the print and just to make the lines a little more solid. I'm going to go over it with my watercolor brush and I'm going to drag out some of the color that either didn't stamp correctly or maybe just where I want there to be color or more of that color. So that's what I'm doing here. So what I'm doing now is I'm filling out the background portion around the clock. I'm using my new Peerless watercolors. I really, really love these watercolors. I've used them nonstop for the past week. Um, I know I will get a lot of use out of them in the future. Anyways, I'm going through and I'm filling out the whole outside in a shade of lighter blue and darker blue. And then you will see me go on the inside of the clock and watercolor in a very, very light beige yellow shade. Um,
Now that all of my watercolors are completely dry, I have gone through my booklets of Tim Holtz chit chat word stickers. I wanted to have something, have my saying be something that related to the new year. And what I could find out of whatever words I had left, I came up with embrace the new day. I found that very fitting. So I'm trying to arrange it in a way where when I pull apart all of these little square pieces that there's something showing on at least every single one of those pieces. So the top corner I knew needed a word because all it has is the blue watercolor space. So once I found my Embrace the New Day stickers, I adhered them to my little canvas using Tombow Mono Multi Glue and made sure the glue was completely dry. And now I'm adding some Faber-Castell Design Memory Craft Glass Bead Glitter Gel. I, I really love this glitter gel. <laughs> I think everybody needs it in their life. So I'm putting on a pretty thick coat. I really want it to show once it's all dry. And I'm applying it pretty much anywhere where there's orange. So I'm putting it on the hands of the clock and any of those little orange dots that are showing. So once that's all dry, here's what everything looks like. You can see the, the glitter bead gel there. And also the gelatos have a metallic finish even once they dry. So you can really see that here once it's all done. So now it's all dry. You peel off the washi tape on the back or whatever you, you use to adhere it. It's a struggle sometimes. <laughs> I was being really careful not to rip the back of any of my pieces. So you have to take it off very slowly and gently. And they're coming. So I could have done one big piece and then cut it into squares once it was all finished. But the reason why I did it this way is because I didn't know how many different mediums I was going to put on top of it, if there was going to be more texture. I really wasn't sure. So to make sure that I didn't have to cut through a lot of different layers, I did all the cutting beforehand. So here is it, it is all together. And I ended up putting it on a mini canvas. This is a four by four block canvas. I watercolored the whole back of the canvas using my Peerless watercolors. And you can see I also put some glass bead glitter gel in corners of the canvas. So thanks for joining me. Happy New Year. Be sure to check out the blog post for lots of giveaways. Bye.